Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to discuss about the product object recognition using rotation invariant local binary pattern of significant bit planes. Now we discuss the abstract for the process. The binary feature descriptor such as the binary robust independent elementary features that is the B or IEF oriented rotation binary robust independent elementary features that is the ORB features and the fast retina key points that is the F or EAK usually performs the binary station on the intensity comparisons. They lose the some useful importance and in this study we propose a process by using the effective binary image descriptor which is called the significant bit planes local binary pattern for visual recognition. First, the author divide the image into and several sub region according to the intensity order to incorporate the spatial information. Then we extract the higher bit planes for all the sub regions and short the adjacent neighbor bits based on the corresponding intensity orders, which makes the descriptor invariant to rotation. In order to further implement the descriptive ability, the process is sample of multi-scale neighbors and the average the adjacent pixels and the ex extract the feature descriptor from the higher bit planes. Since in this process directly perform the operations on the significant bit planes without the quantization, this decreases the information losses to some extent. The descriptor has demonstrated the better performance over the state of art binary descriptor as well as the scale invariant features to two recognition benchmarks. And it is well efficient for the classification and the recognition part is approved the very well efficient. Now we discuss the overall flow diagram for the process. This is the overall flow diagram for the process. At first the input image is taken from the dataset. The dataset is the folder which consists of the several input images. If I take any one image as an input then the image will be an undergo for the pre-processing. The pre-processing step consists of the noise filtering. Here the Gaussian filter is applied for the noise filtering. Then after applying the Gaussian filtering the region division will be carried out. The region division is nothing but the clustering the image from the region of interest. When applying the region division, the clustering process is done and segmenting the region of interest from the other backgrounds. After applying the region division, the BLBP is applied. In the BLBP, the feature is extracted from the clustered image. After extracting the respected feature from the image, the similarity measures is carried out. The similarity measures is nothing but the classification. To estimate this similarity, we have to use the SVM classifier as the similarity measures parameters. Here the support vector machine is used to classify then after the classification, the corresponding classified output will be as an in the integer form. If the recognized output is 13 means the image which we have recognized is 13. Then after the classification part that is the similarity measures, we have to estimate the parameters like accuracy, sensitivity, specificity, then the error rate of the process, then the PPV. That is nothing but the positive predictive value. By these parameters only we have to justify the our process is efficient rather than the other process. Now we discuss the initial running procedure for the process. At first open the MATLAB 2013 and change the current directory. Now you can see the main underscore gui.m file. If you want to execute the file, just right click in that file and select the option run. Now the initial GUI design was opened. In that you can see the several push buttons in the left side for the execution and the two axes in the right side for the display purpose. Now click the button input image. After clicking the button input image, the dataset folder was opened. In that you can see the several 
images in the dataset folder now select any one image from the dataset after selecting the input image from the dataset the selected image is displayed in the axis 1 with the title input image now we have to pre-process the image by applying the filtering after applying the filtering the input image is slightly smoothened by using the Gaussian filter after applying the Gaussian filter the filtered image is shown in the axis 2 with the title filtered image then click the button region division after clicking the button region division it will say take some time to the segmentation now the segment uh, that is the clustered image is shown in the axis 2 now click the button VLBP after clicking the button VLBP the yeah, feature window was opened now click the button feature extraction after applying the button feature extraction the feature value is shown in the axis sorry table 1 now the feature image is shown in the figure 1 if you want to train the image means just click the button train feature now the train features are shown in the tables if you don't want to execute the train features once again means just leave it and click the button similarity measures now the classification window was opened in that just click the button classify now the identified image pattern is the fourth pattern is shown in the edit box now click the button estimation after clicking the button estimation the accuracy error rate sensitivity specificity and the positive priority values are shown in this tabulation now just click the estimation after clicking the button estimation the process background process will be done for all the similarity matches and the efficient output will be given in this edit box after it takes some time the accuracy and error rate sensitivity specificity most operative values are all shown in the edit box